Hey you welcome back to another video. So today we have another CD haul. So not as big as uh, the haul in the past, but I try doing these, you know, every couple of weeks. So starting off, I did get this Essential Collection for Foreigner. Now some of these cases are cracked because I just got them in the mail. I never put them in replacement cases yet, but I, I will obviously. But um, this is the Essential Collection for Foreigner, like I said. I was going to get the CD classics album like a five album set for them but when i was looking at their albums and stuff i figured you know what i just really want their greatest hits so these 12 songs good enough for me i mean i might end up getting that in the future if i start really getting into their music but for right now this essentials collection for foreigners all i really want this is the brand new Miley Cyrus album. This is Endless Summer Vacation. Obviously has the big hit of Flowers on it. No track listing on the back, just a, a palm tree. But this is a pretty good album. It's kind of a new sound. Well, new for this era because it's a 70s and 80s pop sound. Flowers in itself is, like I said, the big hit and also the best song on the album. This is a band I just recently started getting into. They're very similar to the band Oasis, and they're also a British band, so they're kind of part of that British 90s rock pop like uh, wave that came over. So this is the Verb, or not the Verb, <laughs> the Verb, Urban Hymns. So this has their one and only real big hit in A Bittersweet Symphony, which... It has a very interesting story behind it since they never actually got paid for that song for so many years because of all their like uh, copyright issues they had with uh, another instrumental song and that was just a whole big thing. And they, I think they ended up starting to get paid for the song in 2019, so only recently. But yeah, they're pretty much only known for that hit from my understanding, but the whole album is actually pretty good and a couple of songs on the album I actually enjoy more than Bittersweet Symphony, not that it's a bad song. But I just don't feel like it is the standout necessarily compared to other songs on the album. I'm definitely going to start getting some more of their albums too. There's like one or two more that I look interesting to me from them. This is another band that I started recently getting into. So you've probably seen in my either the last haul or the haul before that I got the Scorpions, one of their newest albums. The I think it was called uh, Rock Believer. I'm pretty sure it was not called. I forget now. It's like a two disc set of their new album but this is a 1990 i believe yeah 1990 release from the scorpions as you can see and this is a great album I, i'm really starting to get into them as a band i ordered a couple more of their albums which you'll see in future hauls this is scorpions crazy world the title track crazy world itself is a really cool song to be with you in heaven is a good song wind of chance crazy world and send me an angel like these are some great songs i really love this uh classic rock style scorpions are just awesome this is a really random cd to have but this is the sing soundtrack the movie itself was all right for what it was i seen it a few years ago when it came out but the soundtrack is awesome so starting off the best song on it is actually track number one, Faith, with Stevie Wonder and Ariana Grande. What a great collaboration. The song feels like a classic song. It's a great poppy song. Stevie Wonder and Ariana Grande really go well together. It's just awesome. They also have some other great covers on here, like Shake It Off with Reese Reverspoon. I'm Still Standing with uh, Taron, which I believe he was also the guy who played Elton John in the biopic. I might be wrong. Seth MacFarlane did My Way. And, Jennifer Hudson did Golden Slumbers Carry That Weight. I mean, it's a pretty cool soundtrack to have, but Faith by far is the standout song with Stevie Wonder and Ariana Grande. Now, I just recently did my Paramore video, and ironically, the day after I released that video, I ended up getting this Paramore album in the mail, and this is their debut album, All We Know Is Falling, and this is from 2005. So I took a listen to this album, and I really enjoy this album. It's very similar to their second album, but this is a really good album overall. It was definitely a great start to their career. I mentioned before that I was going to get some hits for Loretta Lynn because I have a Hits Volume 2 CD, which has like their secondary hits of Loretta Lynn. I still got to get the Volume 1 of like the major hits, but I found this other secondary type of hits, you know, the uh, gospel hits of 18 greatest hits. This was a series I've seen a few different artists actually mentioned in this like CD series, as you can see. 
There's also one for like George Jones. So I guess they just did a lot of different country artists and like made like these collections out of them, which is pretty cool. I know I showed this in a different video, but I did also get the Shocking Blue, the Blue Box set, which has their 13 studio albums. I already made a video on that. Same goes with the Archie's box set, which I also have a video already made of that. So that is it for my recent pickups. Not very many CDs compared to last time, but I try doing these every couple of weeks. Some pretty interesting CDs. I'm definitely going to dive more into the Scorpions, like I said, and a few other artists. I got some more CDs on the way, which you'll see very shortly. Also some more music-related videos, so like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.